The business press has been ping-ponging between concerns about inflation and concerns about labor shortages for weeks now. Canada has been really lucky compared to the United States. We hit our pre-pandemic employment levels about a month ago, and the United States is still millions of jobs away from hitting that February 2020 level. In Canada, part of that reason is because lots of recent immigrants, people that have been here for five years or less, have been filling in those jobs about 11% more than two years ago. And that is partly driven by migrant workers. And the reason I'm raising this is migrant workers are real different from immigrants in the way they can exercise their labor rights. So we're rightly concerned about how the job vacancies that are growing in number and being unfilled for longer are going to be filled. Quebec and the federal government signed a deal in the summer that said that Quebec could increase the number of temporary foreign workers and workers coming in on open permits with less red tape. And raising the threshold of workers in those categories from 10% to 20% of an employer's workforce, doubling the share of migrant workers in a workforce. And in what sectors are these? In sectors like the care economy, which is bound to be growing, and which offered us the chance to make every job a good job because of these very demographic pressures. So here we have public policy rowing against market pressures to make every job a good job. That's a good reminder on Black Friday where what we all want is a good deal, but that put, pits ourselves as consumers against ourselves as workers because the only way you can get a real cheap deal is if somebody gets underpaid. 